In this video, we are going to be learning how to create and manage users in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So, first of all, we have different means we can actually create new users from our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You see, we, here we have our active users. So, on our active user, you can see we just have two users. Well, mind you, we can just go to add a user and then create a new user. But we also have, we can also do the same. If I go to my endpoint manager and then go to Azure Active Directory. So at the same time, we can still create users from there. So let me just try to skip for now and then do the same thing for our Azure Active Directory. So if I, let me just go back again, first of all, to my active users. And then we're going to create a new user from our Microsoft Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So let's just click Add a User. So by clicking Add a User, you can see first of all, you want to actually add the first name of the user. I'm just going to add, let me just add Nora and his last name. Oh, so his last name, let me just call this Johnson. And that is the name of my daughter. So I'm just using a random name. And you can see the display name is going to be filled automatically. And then the user name is going to be the following. So we're just going to add. So I want to use a standard name. That's the first name dot the last name of the user. And then it's going to check if that name is um, available. And you can see we only have one domain name, which we're going to be using. So if you have multiple domain names, you should be able to actually just click the drop down. And then you can see some companies have like up to 10, 20, 30 domain names that you can actually choose from there. If you are creating a user from your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, because we also have the opportunity whereby our users will be synced from our on-premises to, to the cloud that we're going to be seeing in a subsequent video. So right now we can decide to say, okay, we want to actually automatically create a password or we can actually require the user to change their password when they first sign in. So if I click automatically create a password and then require the user to change their password when they first sign in, I will actually send password in email upon completion. So you can actually add the email address here. For example, you can add a personal email address or a private email address if the new user have um, a different email address because the user is not going to receive any email because the email is not active at the moment. So I'm just going to click next. And then here we also have the opportunity to assign license to the user. But right now we are not going to do that. We're just going to say create a user without a product license. And then we're going to say next. And also we can decide to actually say, okay, which role does the user have in this department? Well, the user does not have any role. And then we can just scroll down and say, um, what is the, pro the profile of the user? We can decide to say, well, the user was a job title. We can say the user belongs to, she's, um, let me just call this, she's the, we just call her manager. And she belongs to the sales department. And also, we can also say, well, we can also fill all our informations. And then the country or region is very important as well. We can decide to say we want to select the country where the region is from. And at this moment, we only have one country you can see, which is Belgium. And then we can enter the zip code as well. But let me just click next. And here you can see all the required information. We can decide to click finish. And now it says the information is just finished. But we still have the opportunity to say save this user settings as a template. So you have the opportunity to save as a template if you want. But at this moment, I don't want to actually save as a template. I cannot just click close. And you can see that Nora Johnson has just been created. But we also have the opportunity to create a new user also from our endpoint. From endpoint, we can create new user. And then from Azure Active Directory as well, let me just go back again to the users, say so all users. Here, from here, we can decide to actually create a new user. Here, we can decide to actually create a new user. So this is actually the different method in which you can actually create a new user. But we're not going to we're, 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 we're going to be saying how to create user using Endpoint Manager and also from our Azure Active Directory in this different video. So I'm just, I'm just showing you how to actually create a user from our Microsoft 365 Admin Center.